are here now with one of the most sought after motivational speakers, Rachel Hollis. Her first book, Girl, Wash Your Face, was a number one bestseller, and now she's written the brand new Girl, Stop Apologizing. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. Oh my God. Thank you. By going back to the very beginning, and I think we can pull it up right now, your Instagram post that kind of launched this and yes. got it going. It was you there in your swimsuit. You know, you said it, stretch marks and all, you're embracing it. Yeah. And this is something that you carried forward through your message. What, what was at the core of this? Uh, well, uh, truthfully, tequila was at the core of that. <laughs> um, I was in Mexico with my husband. I wanted to show off my bikini top. And I took a picture and I started to edit it out so you couldn't see my stretch marks. And I thought, dang, so many moms I know or so many women I know would kill to have stretch marks and are not able to because they're not able to carry a child. This is a blessing. This is a, this is a badge of honor and so I'm gonna rock it with pride and it really resonated with women all over the world. I love that. So this new book is all about going for it. Stop apologizing but you say in order to get there you've got to kick some old habits first. Yes. Were, you, were you a soccer player? Um, I was but I am so nervous right now <laughs> to try and show off those skills on live TV. We're gonna show, see if you can kick in heels because yes. we're gonna kick these old habits to the curbs and we've got some soccer balls here with some of your main messages and up first is the I'm sorry ball. I I believe in this so much. Women apologize yeah. too much. Yeah, so honestly, the whole intention behind this book was I wanted women to pursue a goal for their life, personally or professionally. And in order to do that, you've got to let go of those excuses that hold you back. And one of the biggest excuses is, one, apologizing just like in life. Like someone bumps into you on the street and you're like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, you're sorry for existing? Like, yeah. you're sorry for, yeah. you know? Or you apologize with the way you live your life, meaning, you want to pursue something, you want to build a business, or, or you want to run a marathon, but your family doesn't support it, and so you're constantly saying, I'm sorry, and not chasing down the dream. So, here we go, right? Oh, I'm nervous. I feel like I can't. No pressure, oh. no pressure. Oh. Really, you know what, you guys, if you thought I wasn't going to be awkward on this show, you don't know <laughs> You're a pro. Okay, in our world, we live with deadlines. Yes. No, you can't avoid them. You say deadlines and goals. Yeah. Mix. yeah, so I think this hurts you, right? So this is a thing that a lot of women have. I have to be a mom by this age. I need to make partner by this age. I need to do this with my career. And if I had given my goals a deadline, I would have quit so long ago. I would not be an author. I would not have built the company I built. So I just want to encourage you, like, yeah. no matter what, pick it. I know. Yeah. when it happens, you become who you're meant to be on the way to your goal. So just chase it down no matter how long it takes. So you must hear so, from so many people, millions of different voices telling, the more successful you get telling you what you should do, what you should have done. How do you eliminate some of the noise? That's, that's our next ball, the outside opinions. Yeah, so you have to know. You have, do you want to try and kick um. one? Uh. <laughs> Yes, someone else's opinion is none of your business. I like that. So you have to be able to pursue who you are, the dreams of your heart, and be so strong in the conviction of what you want that someone else's talking doesn't even get an opinion here. It's like this. If you're not in the ring with me, if you're not taking the punches with me, if you're not running these miles with me, you don't get an opinion. All right, you made me want to You got it. Go for it. Yeah. cheering me in the control room. <laughs> so we've got some questions from our Great. audience and the first one from of our viewers. The first one is from Chelsea in Denver and she sent us a video, so let's watch. Hi Rachel, it's Chelsea out here in Denver, Colorado. I'm a huge fan and I want to know, how has your life changed now that you've met your career goals? Is it easier? <laughs> um, no, I think I made this mistake a lot earlier in my career, maybe you did too, where you thought, man, if I could just get to a certain level, then suddenly it'll be easier. I work 10 times harder today than I ever have in my life. I just sit in a better seat on the plane. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my grandma used to say, new levels, new devils. Every time you get to a new level, you've got something else to chase down and attack. Um, but you are so much stronger and more capable of that because you've walked the road to get to here. I love that. You just sit in a better seat on the plane. <laughs> so 
good. Whitney from North Carolina is here in our audience. You've got a question. Hey, I'm a working mom with raising three daughters. Awesome. Um, so how do you get rid of feeling the mom guilt and yes. encourage your children to go after what they want to do? Yes. Okay, Whitney, thank you so much, you guys. I hate mommy guilt. I hate this topic because here's the thing. Mommy guilt is very rarely about how you feel about being a mother. Mommy guilt is usually what you think other moms think of how you're mothering your children. Mm -hmm. And I believe in my heart that God gave you those babies for a reason. You were meant to be their mama and you are going to show them how to live life by you living life full out without apology. The best way to teach your children is by example. And if you pursue your goals and if you do this work, which is such a blessing, and you do it with shame, they're going to learn that from you too. So you got to own it and you got to be powerful and you got to show them what it looks like. These three beautiful daughters, this is what it looks like to be a woman mm -hmm. who's unapologetic about who she is. Love that. Love that. And here's Bob from Indiana. You've got a question too. And looking ahead to when I enter the workforce, um, I'm a little bit nervous as far as being seen as having enough experience when I'm applying for my dream job. Um, I was wondering if you had any advice on coming across as having that experience, especially during like the interview process. Sure. So um, here's the thing, all love in my heart. You're not going to be able to get your dream job right out of college. And I think that social media mm -hmm. kind of messes us up. It makes us think that we're supposed to have everything now. What you're looking at, my career, this is 15 years of work to get to this place. Mm -hmm. So what you've got to do, what you've got to do is go into that interview and be hungry and show up on the first day and do your work. You would be shocked how hard it is to find people who are just ready to work and who want to learn. You're going to get the dream job, but you've got to probably get the coffee and make copies and do the grunt work and answer phones. And that's how you're going to get the skills that you need to get to the place you want to go. Rachel Hall. Thank you for motivating us and for inspiring us. We love your message. We love you. Thank you so much. Girl Stop Apologizing is out now. And guess what, guys? Everyone in the audience gets to go home with a copy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.